Hi everyone, Chris Petri here. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to try some loose gestural uh, figure painting and figure drawing, contour drawing. Um, a lot of times, uh, I know when I first started watercolors, uh, I always sort of, um, you know, avoided drawing figures because they are quite challenging, but I'm sure when I show you this exercise here, it can be fun, it can be a good time, just doing some quick um, fun ideas on drawing the human figure uh, in watercolor. So here I have my setup, um, some photographs, reference photographs from a couple of books I had, um, some watercolor books, um, and some watercolor paper and a, a pencil, and I have my water container with some water, and of course my uh, palette uh, with my paints here all ready to go. So I have all my colors, I can mix and choose any one I want. Um, it's a metal, uh, metal paint box, and then um, I also have a um, sable round brush, number four. It's, so it's a smaller size. We're just going to be doing some small, uh, fun exercises, some sketches here. Um, all right, so the first thing we would do is uh, take a look at our photograph, and as we contour draw, just want to make sure I'm lined up here. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I'm lined up here on my camera. All right, so the first thing we'll start with these figures here, maybe this, these two uh, gentlemen here, they're chatting. And uh, first thing we notice is this is going to be more or less very similar to a negative shape painting scenario, where when we paint around these subjects, these uh, figures, they'll appear for us. So actually painting around this, uh, these figures will actually do most of the work for us. So we'll find that that's pretty fun to do. So a negative shape painting is really a lot of fun. And a few videos ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, I did some negative shape painting. Um, so you can check out those videos kind of just on the idea of it. But it's essentially it's just painting around us uh, an object and, it, and the object then, be, then appears. So here we have white shirts. So when we paint around those with a darker color, those appear. So we'll start out here. Okay, so that's the first figure here. And we'll do the second one, and we're going to capture the swing of the the swing of the figure here. He's kind of leaning back a little bit. I didn't uh
Okay, so we have both figures. Um, okay, we'll just have some fun here. I'm going to mix up some uh, French ultramarine blue and uh, burnt umber to, to get a rich dark blue. And I'll add a little um, burnt sienna too as well. and a touch of alizarin and crimson, cobalt blue. And we're having some fun here. These are fun exercises just to get a feel for, for figures. I'll do some uh, burnt sienna and a little bit of cadmium red for the, for the face. We'll add the hair in in a little bit. Okay, we got one arm there. Okay, now we'll do the other figure here, and that's going to be Again, uh, that would be um, burnt umber and French ultramarine blue. Can go a little darker at the bottom of the legs so we would think that the light is going to maybe the light is going to produce a little bit of a shadow on the lower parts of the legs maybe and then the upper parts of the pants are a little bit lighter because the sun's coming from the, the top the light We have the shirt, the white shirt, and the, we're gonna do 
goofy arms now here. Okay. We're just having fun here, taking our time. I'm concentrating everyone, so it's really, figures are difficult for me, a challenge. I always, I'm trying to do them more and more all the time. So I, got, I have to concentrate. I really can't. It's hard for me to speak at the same time while I'm doing this. A little bit of a shadow. Okay, now I step up to a little bit of a larger brush. This is a eight, and we'll do some we'll, we'll do the same colors maybe. We'll mix up the colors and do some uh, burnt sienna and French ultramarine and cobalt blue. remember to keep keep um, a watchful uh, uh, eye on the wet paint of the figures so that we don't really you can wait uh, be a good time to take a break once the figures are completed and then you come back when everything is dry and do this part the second uh, part of the um, background And it's always good to mix in some warm and cool, so some reds, some blues, and once you mix up those reds and blues within this, it just looks um, a little more uh, interesting. And that's about that's about the uh, extent of this and it really is a lot of fun it's simple it only took 15 minutes so I would say let's practice on these and have a lot of fun and we'll see you next time have fun happy painting bye bye